Hey guys, Brian here. Today we're going to take a look at Redverb 2, which is a really awesome hybrid reverb plugin. Uh, let's check it out, see what it sounds like. Alright, so let's just jump right in. Here is the interface for the Red Verb 2. It's a really cool interface. Um, I like it a lot. There's over a thousand presets, I think 1300 or so, give or take. Um, so we have, you know, different categories, ambience, chamber, church, effects, halls, plates, rooms, and then miscellaneous. Um, so you can use this for anything really from experimental sound design, adding it onto synths, or for a more realistic and natural sound, adding it to an instrument such as a guitar um, or some drums or a cello, any orchestral instruments. You can also use this little panel down here, which I think is really unique, which is a positioning tool. Um, and it adjusts the wetness depending on how close you are and then also the panning. So you can kind of place things into a virtual room right here within the plugin which I think is really cool so let's check it out um, I have it on a cello we'll hear what each instrument sounds like dry and then I'll turn it on and we'll scroll through some of them So you can hear that one's just huge and it's still ringing out. Um, so again, like a lot of different sounds for the character of that. Mostly I use the larger halls on that one to kind of have a more orchestral sound. Um, but you can also do, let's see, like a chamber sound. <laughs> So you can add like a, a tape wow effect by uh, changing the modulation down here and then you hear I turn up the pre-delay and adjust the curves here you get a much more experimental sound I'm gonna mess with the modulation it's probably gonna sound pretty weird but <laughs> So let's move on to the drums and again I think this one I'm going to use a little bit more of a subtle reverb and we'll hear what it sounds like to kind of just add a little bit of ambience to the drums so let's check it out.
So you can hear they all sound very realistic and each one slightly has a different tone, a different character to it, and there's so many different presets to choose from. I think they all sounded great. Some were a bit more dark, some were a bit more bright, uh, some a bit more roomy and airy. So you really can go in and, and mix and see what sound you really want to choose because there are so many to pick from right here. Um, finally, let's go on to the synth where this is a very dry synth and then we'll add like pr probably a huge experimental reverb onto it. So that gives it like a huge sense of space, kind of like the black hole reverb that I use a lot. Um, but you get it all inside of one plug. And I was really impressed with this, especially um, like the little details like the positioning tool and everything. And the fact that it is a hybrid reverb, it can do realistic, it can do experimental, it can do small ambience, it can do massive ambience. Um, it's a really cool plugin and I'm glad to have discovered it. So this was just a really quick rundown of it in context, seeing what it sounds like on you know realistic instruments, experimental synths, and then drums and kind of putting them into a room and whatnot. So thanks for watching this one with me. Don't miss this one. Go check it out, especially if you need a solid reverb that can do a lot of different things inside of one plugin. So thank you guys, and I will see you next time.